it's funny. <laughs> but it's just like, why? Why make an excuse that bad? At least put effort into the excuse. And that's what makes you think it's not something he's thought through. Maybe he genuinely believes that the costume is the reason he loves the fight. I don't know. The thing I don't want to laugh. I don't want to laugh because it's like... And the thing is, he wears costumes all the time. I know this costume was a little bit different. It was a little bit more kind of complicated. It seemed there was a lot more going on. But, you know, you tried on the costume. <laughs> See, saying it, it just makes you laugh. It's a terrible excuse. I don't think anyone can really stand by it and protect that excuse. It's bad. It's gonna. And the sad thing is, it was such a good fight. Both men showed a lot. Tyson Fury showed, you know, greatness in that fight. And uh, Wilder showed that he has the heart of a champion. He showed resilience, toughness, a lot of shit. So if he just was quiet and just like took it on the chin, was like, "I'll be back. No excuses. I'm out." I'm going to come back, I'm going to train, do my thing, I'll come back. But then you say my costume was too heavy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't make, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to make a video and just laugh. That's messed up. But like, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. And it was, he says, I don't know. There's no way around it. Because surely he could have sat down with his team and just thought, <laughs> excuse, I'm sure someone's called him and been like, hey, is this true? Yeah, yeah, it was my costume. Listen. Whatever that is, fucking cut it out now. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> We're gonna think of a better excuse. You broke your back, just say that. Spinal. Big up Mike Tyson. One of the greatest. But look, there's better excuses out there. I'm not saying Mike Tyson, I don't fuck knows about that. But, you know, make up a better excuse. I broke my hands, my elbows, and they don't exist no more. I lost them. I don't know. I got, I got ear infection. I don't know. I, don't know. I got bad dandruff. I, my shampoo gave me headaches. I don't know. There's bare, there's bare excuses. I remember being a kid, being late to class, and I was coming up with excellent excuses compared to that. It, that's, it's a terrible excuse. I'm not going to keep going on and on about it, but, you know, usually, you know, I, re I respect these guys a lot for what they do, um, but, you know, you've got to get, when look, something like that, you can't, I can't let that, just, you can't, it's hard to let that one go. It's too easy. But um, another thing that's happened recently is, you know, he said he's going to fight him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he said that he's going to... He said that he's going to fire Mark Breland for throwing in the towel. I'm not going to dwell on this too long. I think it's obvious how this goes. Mark Breland, for me, was kind of the man of the match in that corner. He done what should have been done. I think... I, don't, I doubt I was the only person watching that fight. From the third round onwards... I was expecting Wilder to get stopped. Credit to Wilder, so, so tough. Stayed on his feet, was not going down. At the, the sixth, say fifth, sixth round, I was like, okay, he's gonna get so stopped on his feet any minute now. Stayed on his feet, made it into the seventh. I was expecting his corner, so JD has to say to him, listen, you're taking too many unanswered shots. You're out on your feet. The right hand, and I don't, I don't expect him to tell me the right hand, but the right hand to me didn't even seem like it was an option. He couldn't get the feet under him. He's just so, he was so gone that it was only going one way. If JT had said to him, listen, you need to show me more or you're getting pulled out on the seventh. None of that. He's just cleaning the blood out of his ears. And when you watched it on TV, it was like, it was worrying. I was like, please, I don't, you do not want to see any of these guys get hurt. And even when I see like hot, heavy knockdowns, you're like, oh, please get up, get up, get up, get up. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, oh, don't let this be a moment where, you know, somebody gets hurt. Because it was going... Imagine someone dropping 200 pounds on your head or dropping 200 pounds on your chin. It's, it doesn't feel good. You know, that's why he's, he's probably... Listen, Mark Breland done the right thing. Mark Breland should not lose his job. And Mark Breland is a great, you know, addition to Wilder's team. He's the only guy in the team that I actually looked at and I was like ex-champion when i think about american amateurs mark breland is like the man he's the guy that i think of all the time so for him to leave that team i think that the value that he brings they're gonna lose that and to be fair it's like the guy's losing his job because at the end of the day these are people mark breland is a, just a man who has a job goes to work every day he's gonna lose his job because of something he done which was right my opinion anyway it's only my opinion you know, I could be wrong. There might be a million people out there that disagree with me, but I 
don't think so. If you disagree with me, I was going to say write down in the comments. Well, write, write in the comments. Let me know, you know. Let me know why you think the fight should have went on. I get why you would say let him out on the shield, but you don't... It wasn't going any other way. He, the right hand was not there. It wasn't available. He was out on his feet. He couldn't even get the feet under him to throw. And if he did throw a right hand, there was no delivery system. It was just going to be the right hand. And that wouldn't have been enough against Fury. It was going one way. So um, make sure you like and comment the video. On Wednesday, tomorrow, we're going to be releasing a podcast for the first time, our first ever podcast. So I'm really excited about it. We're all excited about that. And we can't wait to share it with you guys. Uh, one thing I want to say is thank you so much for all the support, the love. And just, you know, we, I'm so happy to share this journey with you. I'm just a boxing fan. We're all just boxing fans. And we're just having fun, you know, enjoying the sport. And I get to share that with you guys. And you get to share that with me. And it's just nice, you know. It's all about connecting with other boxing fans. So thank you so much. And... Um, Make sure you share this video with your friends, uh, like and comment, and I'll be back with more videos. I'm out.